I've had a fantastic day on the ranch and now I'm back here with executive chef, Chef Sebastian from the Sheraton and he's going to cook with some of the beautiful produce I picked up from the farm. Venison or comment tu dis en français? Du cerf. Du cerf. It has a fantastic flavour to it. Yeah, bougou. So, Chef, tell me, the venison here in New Caledonia, what does it taste like? Euh, c'est un peu le goût euh, du, du bœuf. C'est okay. très léger en goût, en fait. Mm. C'est pas, pas une viande qui est forte. OK, OK. So he's saying that the venison here is, is not as strong as other venison that you get in many other countries. It's got a very beefy flavour to it, so it's not as gamey, um, which is great because I think a lot of people stay away from venison because they think it's too gamey, but um, if it's lighter here, you can eat it here. <laughs> Et tu fais quoi maintenant, chef? What are you doing now? Alors là, on va faire une compotée d'oignons rouges au porto. Mmm, yum. He was just saying that we're going to make an onion compote with a little bit of butter and pork. And chef, what are we making here? Donc aujourd'hui, nous allons faire un hamburger de cerf au foie gras. Ooh, well, first of all, hamburger. That's how we say hamburger in French. It always sounds much better. But this is a full-on hamburger. This has got a patty of the venison with foie gras, which is the French delicacy, which I adore. And it's in um, a black burger here. So this is on the menu here at the Sheraton. It's very cool. Et le pain, c'est fait en maison? It's Donc made le pain, here? Oui, le pain est fait maison. Le pain est fait ici. Amazing. And they make it here. And um, the way that it gets black is just a little bit of powder, a little bit of black powder there. It's for that dramatic effect. It's pretty dramatic. Alors, les oignons. We're putting some salt in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. euh, les oignons, le secret, c'est de les laisser euh, confire longtemps. Mm. OK. Donc longtemps, c'est à peu près trois quarts d'heure. OK. À feu très doux. Mm -hmm. voilà. So his secret to making this amazing um, onion compote is low and long, which means cooking it for about three quarters of an hour is the best, even longer if you can, to get that really jammy consistency. And he's so French. More butter. Les Français, ils aiment beurre, beurre, beurre. Voilà, voilà, voilà. Of course, because it tastes so good, le beurre. Oui, très bon, le beurre. Et maintenant, on fait quoi? Maintenant, on va mettre le porto. OK, port. Port and onions are best friends. Oh. And if only you could smell that. The smell of that combination, the trio, the butter, the onions and the port. That with some grilled meat, any type of grilled meat is just yum. Okay, on va laisser ça for three quarters of an hour. We're going to leave that for three quarters of an hour. And then we're going to grill this delicious venison. On va cuire what? Medium rare? Uh, medium rare. Right? Medium rare, perfect. Right, let's get this foie gras in the pan. Chef, we've got a pan here. On va cuire le foie gras. We're going to cook this foie gras. This is fresh foie gras, and you don't need any oil at all because foie gras is uh, quite fatty. Uh, c'est quoi le foie gras? Le foie gras, uh, ça vient des canards gavés. Oui. En fait. Donc, le foie, euh... It's a delicacy. It's something you don't eat every day. Um, and it's a, a pretty much a really fat liver of a goose. It sounds gross, but my golly gosh, it tastes delicious. And it takes no time at all to cook. Because this is the fresh foie gras, you just need to pan fry it on each side on a hot pan uh, for it to be cooked. It is so delicious, but it is very, very rich. And chef, you can see all he's doing is seasoning it with some salt and pepper. OK, c'est cuit. It's cooked already. It's cooked. Now. So maybe we should assemble the hamburger. I'm the chef, so today you are my commis in French. We oui, chef, of and course. you make this burger. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to make the hamburger for chef. Now I'm worried. I hope I make it perfect for you. So burger bun, going to open that up. Oh, so soft. And chef, what do we start with, with the hamburger? How do you build the ultimate venison and foie gras hamburger? I want you put for me the mushroom sauce. Okay. Mm. What's in the mushroom sauce? Donc il y a de la crème, de de l'oignon mm -hmm. et du cèpe. 
cream, onion, and sip. And I can smell it. It smells so good. Marmelade d'oignon. Okay, onion marmalade. You can see how cooked that is. That was 45 minutes. It's soft, it's sticky. Yum, yum. And next. Maintenant, Justine, tu vas me mettre les tomates et l'oignon. Okay, so dessus. a few pieces of tomato. Uh, mm -hmm. L'oignon rouge. Okay, so some more onion. So we've got yes. the cooked onion and the raw onion. Okay. Maintenant, Justine, là, on a de la copa de cerf. Oh, wow. Qui est fait localement à Bouraille. Fabulous. So this is um, copper, so it's a cured meat, and this is actually venison. It's been cured locally in this area, in the Burai area, which is just magical. So that's going on to the hamburger. This is going to, is going to be so rich. So if I'm going rich, I might as well put three on. <laughs> and then the foie gras goes on top. Mm -hmm. And now for the pièce de résistance. The meat has to go on. <laughs> you? Oui? Yes. Moi? Okay. He okay. says, I have to do it. So, absolutely. And that goes straight on top there. Oh. Wow. Okay. So, if you like hamburgers, you're going to love this. Ça, chef, c'est le meilleur hamburger que j'ai jamais vu. That is the best hamburger I have ever seen. It's the ultimate. The Thank ultimate you. hamburger. Merci, chef. That was so much fun to make. But you know what? I am going to eat that, but I'm not going to eat in front of anyone because I don't know how I'm going to get around it. I think I have to chop it in half to start with. <laughs> chef, merci. It merci was a pleasure cooking with merci you. Yummy. <laughs>